Hi, hello and welcome students. In this video, we will be solving a beautiful question on quadratic equation. This question is appeared in IDJ 2003. And while solving, you will really understand how tricky, how tricky it is. It's a wonderfully uh, constructed question. And let's see the question if x square plus a minus bx plus 1 minus a minus b is equal to 0. Of course, we all of us know it's a quadratic equation where a and b belong to real numbers then find the values of a for which the equation has uh, unequal real roots for all values of b of course it looks very simple as of now nothing but we'll we'll get that into the tricky part see this is a quadratic equation no so therefore for any quadratic equation to have uh, unequal and real roots we want that uh, that discriminant b square minus 4 is should be greater than 0 and let's substitute the values of a and b in the discriminant we have this uh, this inequality so this is fine then well, let's find out uh, the now that uh, we want for all values of b for given value of a we want that uh, discriminant should be greater than uh, should always be positive so let's try to construct the quadratic equation out of this uh, inequality let's try so let's group it is now b square minus 2ab plus 4b and let b be a constant no all in because we are trying uh, we are writing the quadratic equation in terms of b and other things are constant which are not in terms of b so let's further group it so b square minus 4a minus 2 4 minus 2ab plus constant so now it is in the form of ax square plus uh, bx plus c and here is the real trick or beauty see now that uh, this is the discriminant no? the delta of the given equation this itself become an another quadratic what is the thing we want we want the quad that delta discriminant should be always greater than zero because the roots, roots are to be unequal and real for that this quadratic equation or the quadratic expression to be always be greater than zero let it be f of b should be a function of b always greater than zero here was the real twist for a quadratic expression to be always greater than 0, there are two conditions. So for this, the ax square plus bx plus c, the coefficient of x square, no, that is a should be positive and delta should be less than 0. The discriminant should be negative. How intelligent and twisting it is. One first part, we are having delta is greater than 0. We want delta here less than 0 because here we are expressing uh, or evaluating one quadratic equation itself. See, for, a, uh, for to finding out the roots, we use the discriminant. Now, for finding out whether the expression itself is uh, positive, there are two conditions. One is the coefficient of the x square is uh, positive. In this case, it is b square, it is 1, so it is positive. And therefore, we have to find out the discriminant. That, uh, we have to express the discriminant like uh, b square minus 4 should be 0, less than 0, negative. So let's uh, put uh, 4 minus 2, it is the b square and uh, a and c. We find uh, uh, a is, so it's a side display, you can just solve, a is greater than 1. Therefore, we can say for whenever a is greater than 1, for all values of b, the discriminant is greater than 0. Therefore, the given equation has unequal and real roots. How beautiful it's constructed, you see. Generally, we try to do, you know, always we think, you know, unequal real roots, so the discriminant should be greater than 0. Of course, the discriminant should be greater than 0. However, in this case, the discriminant has become a quadratic equation. And for that quadratic expression or the equation to be greater than 0, the discriminant of that quadratic equation, that is here, that the quadratic expression expressed in terms of b should be less than, that it is discriminant should be less than 0 and the coefficient of the x square here b square should be positive so we got this answer how beautiful this is you just deceives us while solving in the first time i just got tricked and just uh, somehow i managed and got the root and please uh, uh, be very very attentive and uh, very uh, try to uh, uh, find out the any tricky things whenever a question looks very simple in uh, j never take it for granted it will not be easy because always there will be some trick embedded in it so try to solve more and more tricky problems so that you'll, your mind will get tuned to it so please visit our channel page we uploaded a lot of videos on je and also leave any feedback or comments at jemathological gmail.com until then have a nice day students take care